Puss. Can the dog still come into position? Ah. We do an entrance from the front. Puss. What's up guys, welcome to Daily Grey. We are here again with another daily vlog. So, as I promised, today's vlog is going to be um, like a teaching, a teaching video about competition heel work. It's not going to be mega in depth, just bits and bats. Um, I can't do mega in depth, obviously, because I think I've got about three hours of footage on the academy about teaching competition heel work. It's not a quick behaviour to teach, but I'm going to go over the brief overview steps. I'm going to go up to the field. The weather's not not looking real pretty, but hey, I'm going to live. Um, I've just got up early, 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 early. Too early for me. Time to make a coffee. Let the dogs out. Do the morning ritual where they get to have the wrestle, which happens every morning. By every morning, within reason. And then, at my desk, get some work done. Um, I just have bits and bats. Can I balance you on here? I mean, it's not ideal, is it? But it'll do. I just have bits and bats of work to do. Um, some social media planning to do. Some emails to reply to. No clients in today. Don't do clients on a Sunday. I used to. I used to train one to one seven days a week, but I'm really, really trying hard to. Exposure, go away. Exposure, goddammit. No, that's taking it to sublime to the ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, I'm trying to trying to tape that off as much as I can, just so I get more time to spend with my academy members. Because ultimately, my academy is more important to me. I enjoy half days and full days one to one, but I don't even do single sessions anymore, except for my regulars that have been with me for a long time. So, Khaleesi and Spencer are done. Flack needs to go out now, then Jack. I need to make a coffee. Get on with some work. You know, sometimes you get up and you just don't know where to start, what to do. Right, so here we go on the way to the field. Now, I'm going to be jumping ahead so many steps in this video because, like I say, I've got several hours worth of teaching this behaviour. It's not a fast behaviour to teach. That said, if I say something and you don't understand it, then you're going to have to go elsewhere, whether that be to my academy or to another video or to someone else and figure out what that is. I'm not going to explain everything in this video. So, for example, I'm not going to be lowering in this video because I'm not training with food. I'm training with a ball. Because my dog prefers a ball and she already knows his behaviour and she's going to be bored shitless as it is. Um, so, if I say something like, you need to lower this step, then you need to go and figure out what lowering means if you don't know what it means. Other than that, this is going to be a very straightforward video. I'm going to try and keep it under 10 minutes, the whole thing. Um, I've got a start to finish in the academy and that's about 50 minutes long. So I'll give you an idea of, that's only an overview as well. So we're not going to get it all in. We were never going to get it all in. Um, maybe one day I'll do an extra long vlog and we'll go through everything. But fuck, it's going to be a long, a long old thing. Um, that's what I have to say. I tell you what I do have to say. I haven't eaten again. I'm a fucking knob. I used to mock people. Thank you. I used to mock people who said that they, they'd forgotten to eat and I'm like, how can you forget to eat? And then I opened a company a few years ago and uh, fully appreciate that now. Gary V's got this guy that follows him around. I think his name is Max, or it was Max. I think he got, well, his contract ran out. Um, follows him around as his full-time one-on-one personal trainer. He goes to the gym with him, he makes sure he eats his meals, he makes sure he drinks an adequate amount. It's a fucking great idea. I need that in my life. However, he probably pays that guy about $300,000 a year and uh, I ain't got $300,000 a year. So I'm gonna uh, get to this field. It's quite a hefty drive to the field every day. Probably about 50, I say hefty. It's hefty when you've got to do it daily. Probably about 15, 15 minutes there, 15 minutes back. It's about five miles, but it's not a good five miles. Um, so I'm gonna get up there. We'll get this heel work video done. I'm gonna train my own dogs 
in things that they need doing. Um, I'm just going to go straight up there and film a seal work video before I do anything. Uh, so expect a very lively German Shepherd because yesterday they were both on box rest pretty much. Well, they were both on house rest because my dad was up and we uh, went out of town for some food and stuff. So they were just resting all day. So we're going to have a very, 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 very lively German Shepherd. Which we can deal with, it's not a problem. Um, she's just not, never on her best behaviour straight out of the box. Which is expected. If you don't expect that, you're a knob. You need to expect these things. If you haven't worked your dog, don't expect it to be perfect, because they've got a big sting attached to them. Usually I'll go and throw the ball for 10 minutes to get the sting out. Um, but today I'm not going to, we're just going to get straight into it, because I want to get this video filmed, because it looks like it's about to absolutely piss it down with rain. So I need to get this video filmed shortly. I'm officially the biggest knob ever to have walked the earth. As you can see, in a minute, as you can see, I'm at the field. However, wait there, wait there, wait there. I'm just unlocking the gate. However, idiot features here, forgot to bring his fucking tripod. So, will you be able to balance on here? Oh, I guess I could do that. Right, okay. That's the answer then. I'm going to balance you on the back of the van. We we'll park in the van in the middle of the field. So, come on, gang. Let's do that. Fuck's sake, why am I so shit at life? Not, not made for this. Let me train my dogs in peace. Right, let's get going with it. Come here. Here. Loss. Hey, said loss. Af. Af. Right. First thing you've got to do is teach your dog to stand on this thing. This is called a pivot box. I'm going to be going very fast here because there's a lot. Af. There's a lot to cover. The reason your dog needs to stand on this is so we can teach it to pivot around it. Um, it teaches rear end awareness. Without rear end awareness, you're never going to get a good pivot. Touch. So the dog will stand on this. You would lower this round. So you would get a piece of food and you would lower it. The dog doesn't have to be in position. But you would lower round and lower round and lower round. Yeah. So, you literally, like I say, the dog doesn't have to be in position. You're just going to lower around in a circle. Both ways. As soon as your dog can do it in both ways, you move on. Loss. Af. As soon as your dog can turn in both directions, you get the dog to touch the box and you lure them into position. Position being heel position, here. This is a really bad pivot box because it's round on the top. Yeah, it's domed. So they're gonna be in front of you, stood on the pivot box. You're gonna lure them round into position. Loss. Yeah. At that point, so, I don't think I've explained that very well. Bring. I'm just tightening my watch, guys. Give me a minute. Right. So, you're going to be stood here. The dog's going to come onto the pivot box, and you're going to lure them into position. What you'll start seeing in time is that the dog will start coming into position. Yep. It'll start coming into position on their own. At that point, loss. Af. Af. At that point, you remove the lure completely. So you'll just stand next to this, push, you'll tell the dog to heal, and then we're good. Now they need to be able to turn in position. You might have to use the lure. So you'll do this. You're gonna lure them around with your hand. Obviously I've got no food, so she's not interested. You're gonna lure them around. Can they follow you? Can they follow you in the other direction? Stay in on this box. They must stay on this box. Yeah. At that point, you can move on. Good. Kalisa. Loss. Ah. So now you need to move on to entrances. Hey. Ah. Play. You need the dog needs to be enter, be able to enter from every side. Push. So she can enter from that side. Cool. Here. Ah. Can she enter if I face her? Push. You can. Cool. You need to be able to do that in all 360 degrees of the circle. At that point, you're grand. You're good to go. You need to move on. These steps 
roughly take a month per step. So for me, heel work, competition heel work, full competition heel work takes about a year to teach. Bring. Kalesi, bring. There's 13 steps. So we're looking at around a year for me. Yeah. Lost. Said lost. Ah, play. People are going to be like, oh my God, that's too long. Well, your year's going to pass anyway. Play. Touch. Play. Touch. Play. Touch. Touch. Push. Right, so it's a... Ah. At this point, when your dog can do entrances from any direction, push. And they can turn on the box in any direction. It's not a problem. It doesn't matter what you do. They keep going. They're fine. You don't need a look. Yeah. At that point, you move on. At that point, this goes away. The pivot box goes away. So the dog can do entrances. The dog can do turns. The dog can do turns into position. The dog can do turns in position. Can I see you? Lost. Ah. Ah. So now you've got to do entrances without the box. Push. Can the dog still come into position? Ah. You do an entrance from the front. Push. Yeah. So the dog fully understands position. As soon as you can do entrances without the box, you need to be able to do turns without the box. Kalisi. Loss. So, push. Bring the dog to heel. Now we do turns. Push. Can the dog turn without the box? This dog can. Push. As soon as you've got both directions, and you're good to move on. Like I say, each one of these steps takes about a month. Loss. Loss. Ah. So now you've got entrances without the box, turns without the box. Now you've only got a couple of steps left. So you need to start moving now. Push. When you start moving, don't go from this to this. Because it's going to fall apart. Life. What you need to do is go from your normal position. Push. Hey, push. So we're in normal position, and I'm going to do this. If the dog stays with me, yeah, I mark it and reward, and that's it. I'm going to repeat that one step, maybe two, for a month. Everybody's like, "Fuck, this takes so long." Well, cool story, bro. If you want heel work, this is how long it takes. Last. Push. One step. Pause. Second step. Dog should be staying with the left leg. Push. So I'm doing Robocop walk now. This is the next step. Yeah. We're nearly there now. We've almost got heel work. And like I say, guys, this is a gloss over. This is not a comprehensive lesson on heel work because it would take fucking hours. Loss. Ah, ah. Loss. Ah. Push. So now we go into fluid motion. Yeah. She stays with the leg. Cool. No problem. Loss. Now we need to start putting turns in. Push. When you put your turns in, they need to start very sweeping. So just gently. Yeah. And then you make your turns tighter and tighter and tighter. It's now pissing down with rain. So we're going to call it a day. Seven minutes. I kept it under 10 minutes. I'm a fucking hero. Um, that's it. That's the overview of heel work. There's a full six, seven, eight part series in the academy about how to teach this. So uh, get on that. You'll learn a fuck ton. I'll see you in there. I'm gonna, I need to train the Rottweiler now, but it's absolutely lashing it down with rain. You can't really see it on the camera, but I am soaked. Oh, horrible.
Alright guys, as you can see, it's the next day. I completely forgot to film an ending to this video. So, here's the ending. Um, like I've reiterated several times in this video, the heel work thing is just an overview. There's a much bigger overview in the academy and there's a proper broken down series in there as well. Um, don't try and go at this pace, at this speed, with this many steps. There's more to it. It just gave you a brief idea of, of how you even go about thinking about it. So, question of the day. Have you taught your dog heel work? Yes or no? Or are you in the process?